Dangerous times calls for dangerous women. Women like you. How much of the danger makes a time dangerous? A single moment with the greatest fortune. Greatest fortune. A historical document was found decades ago by a stranger. It is the map to a secret treasure. That map shows that a deposit of gold in of you do. Of you do. Of you do is a secret ground. It is a place where kings are installed. And there has never been any record of gold deposit around that area. Not even in the entire Onicha. Ijelawai, no one, no one knows about this. Not even the king or the government. They were secretly mined with a high-tech, soundless, underground exploration drilling. You desecrated the sacred place of Ofudu, <sighs> where kings are installed. This is the dangerous time I talked about. And this is the greatest moment, the single moment that I talked about. We can both put our resources together to develop this gold mine and export it to the rest of the world. Hmm. Impossible. Every king in the two clans of our kingdom are installed. They are under an oath to protect and guide that place. And they will do it with the last drop of their blood. And that is why I have come to see you. You will get 50% of any gold exportation we do outside the rest of the world. For the first time in the history of Umobi Kingdom, we shall organize a symposium to discuss and teach the younger generation, our children, the history and customs of our land. That way, we can continue to preserve our customs and our heritage. I have spoken. If anyone has anything to say, let him speak now.
abogri igwe igadi you see igadi kechi echi ada agu agu you see igwe it's been seven months now that our last onowu anya mene died the affairs of our community continues without a sitting on no and we all know the importance of an Onowu in a kingdom like ours. Elo Zumba, go straight to the point, please. Igwe, what I am actually saying is, I will look up to you to appoint a new Onowu before your next offer. DJ is enough. The bar is in which only danger. Ilo Zumba has expressed his opinion. I don't think he is wrong. However, if there is anyone with a superior opinion, let him speak now. May I remind some of us, all of us, the position of Ono is very careful. And it's not a position that you shall be in a hurry to feel. Or you're going to be in a hurry to feel. Now, why? You can't apply to this. I said, don't worry if you know. And again, the way that has the sole authority to appoint an unknown. So please, I crave your indulgence to give him time to make up his mind and do what is necessary. Thank you, Igwe. Oh, pull up, brother. Is your Is it a Who else wishes to speak? Actually, I have said it all. The appointment of the owner who is the best responsibility. So let us leave that for him and concern ourselves with the planning of the offer. You all have spoken with wisdom. It's been seven months since we lost Anya Mene, our last no. And I, I do understand the concerns of the kingdom in respect of appointing a new Ono as quickly as possible so that there will be no vacuum. However, like Achebe pointed out, the position of the Ono is a very vital and sensitive one which requires time and wisdom to make the right choice. I want to thank you all for your patience so far. But I ask for more patience from you while we go ahead with the preparations for the Ofala celebration.
Once again, you are welcome to the land of your ancestors. Thank you so much, Rizzo. <laughs> but I still find it unusual that a prince like you will choose amongst everyone in this great community. The chief priest of the shrine has your own friend. <laughs> Um, wise woman, I chose to be different. Yes, indeed you are. You know, wise one, my family, we are Christians. We believe in the existence of God. But I also believe in the existence of our own traditional gods. Like Ibinobadi, Amadioha, Anyang, Ihejioko. You know, I'm interested in understanding African Judaism, cosmology and spiritualism. You know, how to combine our native power, our native powers with technology to solve our general African problem. Are you with me, wise one? I feel the wave of a gathering storm. Why is wrong? If you are eh? You love speaking in parables. There is no gathering storm. The weather is clear. If you are a... If you I thought you said you are interested in Jujuism and spiritualism. The ways of the gods are not like our ways. They are different. They are defined, they are special. Yeah. Why is one a Kalipan man? See why I want you to be my friend? <laughs> so I will understand the way of it. What are you blocking the road for? Is this your father's compound? It's in only Chadika village. Are you okay? What are you even doing with firewood? Don't you have gas cooker at home? Don't you have gas cooker at home? I try to nonsense also. Look at his face. Let's move, Biko. Makego Makani Jego Kiji Kobi Melo Dabo Hokegi. It's a wine. I won't even add the Machuma. Chuj like that, baby. as if I am mounting pressure on you. But um, as a GM of this kingdom, next in command to the Honorable, it is my responsibility to see that what is done in this kingdom is done in the right way. Hello, Zumba. Are there things that have not been done the right way under my authority as the Igwe of Umobi Kingdom? Ah, Igwe. Ah, no. In fact, amongst the rulers of the, this kingdom, from the two clans of Umobi, you are the best. Your leadership is exemplary. Zumba. 
It is true, Ibu. It is true. Adebuchi at you, Maka. Is your cookie cool? My concern for who becomes the next Ono is because I will wish that it is somebody who shares your vision and your principles. Somebody who understands your leadership style. And you can only find the person amongst those who are close to you. Hello Zumba. Thank you for your advice. May the gods guide our thoughts and actions. Say, Abubi, I see our children are getting along very well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Olana and Olisa. They remind me of those good old days when we were still young. And we used to follow young maidens to the streams and to the farms and we would stay there all day long just to win their love. <laughs> Olisa treasures and adores Olana the princess above all other ladies in this kingdom. He told me that you can't wait for the Ofala festival to be over so that he will marry Holanda and take her back to South Africa. <laughs> he has a good plan. Indeed, that is why I would have preferred that the next to know be appointed before the Ofala, so that two of them will witness it and be happy. Don't you know that I've missed you so much? You have missed me so much. I cannot I call Miss Nisiawa. If you don't have a If you don't have a number, you If you don't If you have a number, you can't If you don't have If you don't have a number, you can't get a number. If you don't have a number, you can <laughs> I am serious. <laughs> Olisa, you're funny. So you actually learned how to sing just because of me. Look, Vasile, <clears throat> when I left this country, I came into Pretoria. Okay. I told myself that, Olisa, you need to learn something different so that when you come back, you'll become a different person. And really? I'll surprise you. Really? That's okay. why I said, okay, fine, let me just go and learn on how to sing one or two, you know? But I come I'm surprised, I. Okay. <laughs> you're serious, like, you're serious, you're not joking. They have been fucking serious. They're very serious. See, listen, eh, this one, eh, you know, Kai Baka. Okay. You know, this one, eh, if you hear this one, on eh, you Baka, this song, I plan to feature some rappers inside. Oh, really? All those people, like all those Alubam and the rest of them, even though you're zero, nah, Obu got his verse into it. Everybody. Okay. I'm very serious. Okay. Let's see how it goes. She's a business woman. Me, that is cool in this game. 
I didn't believe it until they showed me a briefcase full of beautiful, shiny gold, secretly mined in Ofudo. Well, Goma, I am amazed that gold could be found in Omobi Kingdom, but uh, I am not in support of strangers coming to the secret what we consider sacred. It doesn't matter what they desecrate. What matters is that we found treasure. And we're the only ones who have been opportuned to know about this. We shouldn't let this slip from our hands. Um, uh, what do you want us to do now? <laughs> that is why I traveled down to come and see you. Azok, I need you to indicate interest in the ownership of this kingdom. She's not the local fashion. Keep laughing now. <laughs> sorry. I'm very sorry. But you're funny. You're very funny now. Do you know what? Do you know what? You know what I'm doing? Okay. Let yeah. me give you a tip of the iceberg. Really? Like yes. you want to sing? Let me just give you a tip of the iceberg. Okay, fine. You know, just so that you can understand what I'm trying to talk about. Fine. Or, or, or like understand what I'm saying. Okay, okay. let's listen. Let's listen. <coughs> uh, let me start with you. You won't laugh. I'm not laughing. No, listen, you, you, you okay, know that. Clapping is involved no, 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 too. What I was taught in South Africa is okay. when you want to sing. Yes. Like when you don't have a beat, use your hand and your Before feet it. to make a beat so that okay. it will have this harmony. So anybody in Uliaga will, will feel the vibe. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, I got no, you. Don't laugh again. Don't laugh I got again. you. Okay, just I'm listen. not laughing. Sisi, Eko. Sis you mo be baby wanna for me. Wanna 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 really? I said don't Okay, I'm not laughing, continue. I'm sorry, I'm enjoying the song actually. Uh, yes, continue. Okay, okay. okay. Wanna wanna for me. Wanna 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 So listen and just this is just the chorus, huh? I have a verse. I have like verse one. I have like verse two in the song. Okay. Let me just give you like verse one of it. Okay. Before the rap will come in. Rap. Yes, the rap will come in, and somebody like Oyama Zulu will bring his own verse. Okay. To push it up. Now, this is just like the verse one of it. Okay. One your man is so maga, eh? One your man galu yalu, eh? Adeze, adeze, eh? Eh, what do you say, mamu? Baby, nebu, nebu. Baby, na pa ma pa. Wana wana ye. 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 Since you came back from the white man's land, I noticed that a lot has changed about you. I mean, your room. Uh, I saw certain paintings that I still can't explain. Even though I also saw that they have very strong African undertones. They do. They do, yeah. Um, Father, actually, I'm, I'm grappling to understand how our culture works, you know, and how we can combine our native powers with technology to solve our common problems. Hmm. That sounds rather weird, but I find it quite intriguing and interesting too. Thank you for not forgetting your roots. Carry on with what you're doing. I also noticed that you're getting too close to Ezemwa, the chief priest. 
I don't think I'm comfortable with that. I am many. I've done my research. I want to use what my forefather. Um, <clears throat> that's why I call this meeting. Because Uno Wu Anyamene died young. And it is expected that the Ono worship should return to Umo Bindita. Bam! Eku mieli bu. Ke wo lo chichi ono wu. Nanyi bundi Umo Bindita. Nanyi ko lo. Bam! It's your continuity. Ma ko ke nyada no no no. E wu amu ono wabule. Me be. Uba. Na, I was offered 50% of the entire gold mined and exported to the rest of the world. See, in my entire experience as a contract agent with top political allies, this deal is the biggest I have ever signed. If you are made the next Ono of this kingdom, we, you and I, we, automatically will become the newest and biggest billionaires of this kingdom. You got that? Hey! Oh! Hey! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! You don't understand. Do is where you left. Eh? Sit down. Let's talk. Sit down. Well, okay, this one you're telling me to sit down, let's talk. I call them bullshit too. Because this is gold money we're talking about. We have gold money involved here. Mm -hmm. As you already know, I am one of the Ndiche women. The Ozi of Umobi Kingdom. Uh, we are the custodians of our tradition. Mukem uh, Biko, go straight to the point. Can go to the feature later. Well, what are you saying? Of you do is a sacred place, the home of our ancestors, uh, where all the Igwe of Umupi Kingdom, past and present, were installed. I cannot be part of any plan that will separate it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Azoku. You will get 10% of all exported gold if you indicate interest in the ownership of this kingdom. That is what you will get. Think about it. Hello Zumba, it is true that uh, Ayamene eh, did not live long. But saying that the Ono replacement must come from Umu Obindeda is not right. Makana Brandi Umu Ugu Bulu Ayamene. Enebele, what do I hear you say? It's a guinea enebele, you're going to Eh, what do you want to say that I have not said already? I am a gay beast. Allow him finish. Allow him finish. You know, Zumba, if I must continue with this meeting, let nobody interrupt me while I speak. Anybody, please speak on. Continue. Ono worship is the prerogative of the Igwe. He has the right to pick whosoever he deems fit for that position. It is not a political association or election whereby we begin to solicit for votes and doing campaigns and all of that. Let him, let, let him do what he wishes to do. So be it. I know it. I know that is what you want to say. Uh -huh. Amam, 
Eh? A total absurd and unrealistic point. What is unrealistic about what I just said? Everything about what you say. You want to know who to go out of our client, eh? That is your plan. Bam. You are politicking. Let us remove everything about politics from uh, the culture and tradition of our kingdom. Anybody? Are you the only only chair? Not the whole Omo Bindida. Amongst all other Ndiche that does not know the kind of politics that is being played in the in the palace. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know I know I know all the politics that is being played in the kingdom. Then how come? <laughs> how come you did not know, or at least feel the resistant behavior of Igwe Zako? In appointing a new Ono. Eh? How Where? come you do not understand that? Where? You know everything in the politics. Oh, you go with Zulu, but I'm okay. Oh, well, Lisa, not Bachi. Oh, yeah, not Bachi. Oh, yeah, not Bachi. Now, he's planning his next offer mm -hmm. without appointing the next Ono. <laughs> and you say there is no politics. <laughs> Igwe, please do not banish me. I am your blood. Please. Daddy. Don't even go there. Don't go there at all. At all, You have to understand that this is difficult for me. I am the Z of a uh, Omobi kingdom. If I go against the tradition of our land, the gods will strike me dead. Yes. Mm. The gods did not strike dead those who went to offer you dough to mine gold. It is you, a mere Ono who sits around the palace doing nothing, that they will strike dead. Ugama, the ways of the gods are different from the ways of men. Exactly. I know. And that is how you will know today that the ways of Ijele Wai are different from the ways of men. Omana! Ijele Wai. Akinika. Ma! Ma. Ma, ma, wa, go on, dear. Two more Ijele Wai, I saw. Ijele Wai. I'm not fear. Both of you go inside. Hmm? Get into the kitchen. Bring out every food item you find in the kitchen. Every food item, maggi, oil, rice, everything that is food, bring it out. Take it to my car. Yes, yes. Sir. Uh, what are you doing? Ah, I want you to understand that before the gods that you do not see strike you dead, that I, Ijele Wai, the gods Akanafuanya, will strike you dead with hunger. Hurry up! Don't leave anything there. Seasoning cubes, oil, salt, everything. All of them. The rice, the beans, the yam. Who put the hand in the yam? I'm not to. I'm not going. 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 I'm not
Saya balik ke Pak Mal, mana boleh enggak gitu. Tahu dia nak stop dulu. Stop. Hei, Shalom. Ya, oh. Aku kali gue ya bang, cuma ada nyawa So, daddy? I've always had this ambition of uh, becoming the next Onogu of Umobi Kingdom You do not know this But that's the major reason why I recorded from South Africa but Dadu, yes. from all I know about the customs and traditions of this our Hanyumobi, the position of Ono is not contestable. It is only by the right of the Ibe to make such appointment. Exactly. That is why I worked so hard to convince Igwe Ezako that you are the perfect suitor for his daughter Olana, son, a romance between you and Olana is my making. I'm not very much aware. I'm aware. <laughs> and you also know that I, I actually love her so much. Yes. I intend to use this as a leverage to Strengthen the bond and the ties between I and uh, Igwe Zako. And also our family and the royal family. No, no. <laughs> you are indeed <laughs> a man of true wisdom. Yes. Ono Wushi is a very big position, an exalted position. A big position that comes with a lot of rights and privileges. And also... Oh, <laughs> no, I, I like this one. You see this part, Daddy? Yeah. I like it. I like it. No, no. Yes. No, no. Yes. I like this. Really, sir? No, no. No, no. Ijele Mwanyi Igwe Ijele Mwanyi Igwe <laughs> Oga Adele Ima Igwe Oke Mwanyi Umu Bije Mwono Igwe 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 This right here is a token Appreciation. Just for you. Thank you. Ijele why? Appreciation for what? Igwe, this is for your dedication and exemplary leadership to our people. We we thank you. Thank you very much, Igwe. Mm -mm. You're welcome, Ijele why? And thank you exceedingly for this this gift. It was, I mean, totally unexpected. Mm. You're indeed a jelly wine. Okay. You say there's a scene that is supposed to be sung on those who stand before it will shine on those who live under it. Is your gobble? Yes, sir. I have come to let you know that I am interested in the ownership of this kingdom. Even me. My dad intends to become the next to know of this kingdom. And you know, according to our tradition, that will not be possible except if he finds favor in the eyes of the king, your father. Okay. Um, baby, I want you to do something for me. What? What do you want me to do? I will want you to convince your father, the king, to make my dad the next to know of this kingdom. 
right? Just, you know you're a princess and it will be more honorable for you to get married to an honorable family. Imagine you the princess getting married to me, Olisa, the son of the owner of this kingdom. The marriage is going to be very glamorous, huh? very exotic. Chidi. My princess. What's that case for? It's a gift from Ijele Wine, my princess. I see. Baby, so listen, if you can do this for me, okay? Just after the Fala Festival, we're going to get married. And the next thing is we fly to South Africa. Imagine you being in South Africa and I need Olindo. Things will be working out well for us. Thank you for bringing me here. It's more private. Well, as a retired civil servant, I have garnered enough experience in human management. And I have a lot to offer Umobi in solving the problems affecting Umobi. If I am appointed the new owner of Umobi. <sighs> Hello, Zumba. I don't understand what is happening. Why is there all of a sudden so much fuss about who becomes the next Ono of our kingdom? This is not a tradition. Adazo no wazo no mobi. Adazo So proud to uh, eh? hey. You know, we are on our way to becoming the richest, most famous, powerful family in the entire Umobi kingdom. As a matter of fact, across the entire nature. Hey. You got my but I still have fears. So. The portion of the Ono comes with big responsibilities. I hope I can handle it. Um. Azo, always remember, it is not about the position. It's about the gold. <laughs> the gold! The gold! The gold! As a matter of fact, I am going to celebrate the next Ono of the Umobi Kingdom. I would go in there, take my car keys, and drive down to Eke Umobiubu to buy the freshest of palm wines and the driest Anunchi in the market. Ah, just the way you like it. Very smoked and well dried. Ijelewai. Only Babom. Ijelewai. Babom. Babom. You deserve the best. Aye. 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 Aye.
Hey, if I don't return pick, return dog, I'm waiting. Hey! Asoku! Come on! Asoku, come on! Get up on us! How dare you? How dare you open your mouth to say that you, to tell the Igwe that you want to become the next Ono of Umobi Kingdom? Elizabeth, don't I have the right to my own opinion? Huh? Not when it concerns who becomes the next Ono. You are the least. You are the least of the Niche. So you have no opinion. No opinion whatsoever. Elizabeth, you lie. I have as much right as any other member of Nietzsche to voice my interest in becoming the next one. No, you lie. Hey. <laughs> Asu, were you not the one that was supporting Achebe when I raised the issue of Ono? Oh, were you not the one? I have changed my mind. Yes, I have changed. I see. You want to steal your no worship? You cannot do it. Luzemba, you came to my house and called my wife a prostitute. Allah? Or if up. Allah? Or if up. And let me warn you. Desist from discussing anything concerning the Uno worship. Of whom will be kingdom? You have no opinion, and that is it. Final. Otherwise. Otherwise. You see, gather. Oh, you see, gather. You see, you see, gather. You see, you know, you see, gather. You see, gather now. You know, Zumba, you cannot threaten me. You see, gather. Oh, that came. Oh, that be. Nobody. You pull down here. Police. Oh, that be. What are you doing? Ah. Those are my bad boys. I went to the palace to see Igwe Zaku and I met Azoku telling Igwe that he wants to be uh, 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 the next to know. Hey, Azoku. I have always known there's something mischievous about the delaying of this appointment of new Ono. And, and what I, shall we do? You came to my house to harass my husband. You may put on my own Abuja. You go see the Come on, Dad. I know you're troubled. You're troubled. About the unusual, another clamor for the seat of the unknown. How did you guess what's exactly on my mind? Of course you're my dad. And I know when you're unsettled. But daddy, that you're being silent. You're not saying anything about the seat. Daddy, please, you have to do something. I know that's why you're troubled. So do something. Okay? My daughter. I may be troubled, but I'm not losing focus. 
as a matter of fact, silence or calmness is the cradle of power. Nothing strengthens authority as much as calmness and silence. Oh, Daddy, when you're silent for too long, another voice becomes powerful. It is time for you to take a decision. The time is now. Okay? Ilo Zumba. Igwe. Ayalogo. Igwe. Enebeli. Igwe. What is happening? Igwe, the kind of race our legs witness today is more than only big sprints. <laughs> and who was after you? While we are seated in Ilo Zumba's house for a meeting, Azoko's wife, Ugoma, arrived with her compassion. And she raised gun on us. We ran and they predicted the future, they healed the sick with herbs. And they provided solutions to our common problems with incantation and tasks. So I'm thinking, with such powers in the domain, we can rely on technology power to solve the common problems facing the learning that. What do you mean by technology? power is simply the use of our native powers with technology to solve our common problems. <laughs> Chris Laden, you speak in the knowledge of the millennium. Oh. But life operates in the power of the ancients, the wisdom of the ancients. Really? I am sensing evil in the land. Something strange is about to happen. Prince Lieutenant, you must return to the palace right now. And be very careful from this moment. You can go. Jazu, what is this news I'm hearing about? Uh, I don't know uh, what exactly you hear. Makarande has a Azoku, is it true that you and your wife went to the palace and told Igwe Ezak that you want to be the next Ono of Umobu Kingdom? <clears throat> um, yes. Everything happens for a reason. Yes. Uh, uh, I am disappointed. Azu, I am disappointed. How could you, a chief of your status, go back to lick the speech you spattered on the ground? Were you not there when you and I? Vehemently opposed, Ilozumba, in his curiosity, 
who will be the next owner of this kingdom. Now, he went back to Digwe secretly to tell him that you are now in Chester Gondo. To tell him to do exactly that very thing you oppose openly. Mm. I understand. The water raw. Like I said, everything happens for a reason. You have no reason whatsoever. You have no reason whatsoever to go to the palace and tell Digwe that you want to be the next owner of this kingdom. And you know very well that it's against the custom. It's against the custom of our people. As well, I'm sure that it is your wife that is pushing you into this. Achebe. Achebe. Yes. Biko, 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 biko. Don't bring my wife into this matter. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I will bring your wife into it. It is the truth. I will bring your wife into it because it is the truth. Now, let me tell you one thing. A woman can influence you. But when you allow that woman to take decisions for you, you feel it as a man. Achebe, aqua go lungi if any man, a water raw. Aqua go lungi. Egan anaba? I told you everything happens for a reason, a water raw. And I'm an aqua go lungi that we want me to name my water. Egan anaba? Father, we cannot allow a lady to go about the whole village harassing people with guns. This is disrespectful to your throne and she should be punished. It's all right, son. I have summoned her to appear before me immediately. All right? Much better. You can go back to your work. I'll handle it. It's okay, Father. All the way from South Africa, only I heard she offered your father a huge amount of money. If you are aware that that could be a bribe, for our husband to become the next to know of this kingdom. Lisa, do not say that about my father. My father, I know the king can never accept any bride to favor anyone. What are you saying? People come to this house to pay homage with all kinds of gifts. Ijelemwani's gift is not an exception. Baby, but you and I know who this Okunabwagolada is. You and I know who she is. This woman has ulterior motive ever since she came back to this kingdom. And your father is aware of that. Which automatically makes her gift a bribe. I've come to realize that all you care about is your father becoming the know and nothing else. That is it. Baby, right? Baby, will you stop? I should stop. Will you stop? Only I will not stop. I am not going to stop. What is it? For the past few days, all I hear is, my father do you know who this, my father do you know who that. You don't even talk about us anymore. What is wrong with you? Don't say it this way. You don't have to. <sighs> but that is the truth, Ijelenwai. I mean, you cannot go about the village with live ammunition harassing and threatening people. It is a crime against our tradition and also against the laws of the land. Igwe. Igwe. It was Ilo Zumba that came to my house first. He threatened to kill my husband after he harassed him thoroughly. He even called me Abuna Abuja. Ilozumba said that? Yes, in the presence of my husband and my gate man. My goodness. <sighs> All right. Nevertheless, I want you to remain 
calm and peaceful and above all law abiding all right all right Igwe. good i understand you know i've always been a woman of peace i will continue to be peaceful and law abiding that's good very good but please Igwe, talk to iluzumba he needs to stop harassing us he should stay off our path. Alana. We need to talk. I call this meeting as the Ajie of Umobi Kingdom. But I had to tell Achebe to summon this meeting because I am afraid. Earlier when we were having a meeting, Ugoma threatened us with a gun in my house. It is wise, as our people said, to bail water when it is still ankle deep. Please, Ilozumba, go straight to the point. Azoku here and the wife are about to commit evil against this kingdom. Mm -hmm. They went to Ezaku, the Obi of this kingdom, to ask that Azoku be made the next Ono of Umuobi kingdom. Eh? Azoku? Yes. And I will still narrate how he attacked me. From the first day I set my eyes on her, my spirit never accepted that lady. Me, I don't like her at all. I don't like her. But what I don't understand is daddy accepting another monetary gift from her. This will give the people impression that he is collecting bribe. Think about it. You're right. That's true. I saw it with my two eyes. They offered it with a Zako. Huge bundles of money. Bundle of money. That is so much. <laughs> From what I saw. It seems that Ugoma came back from the city to buy the seat of Onou for the husband. But it, it will never happen. It will never happen. Enough of this nonsense. Enough of this nonsense. Lozumba, stop painting my wife bad because you want to look like this. Tell everyone here how you came to my house and threatened to kill me. I didn't call my wife Abuna Abuja. Don't have an Azoku, shut up your mouth. Go and try talking to him. Me, the Ajie Okosisi of Umuobi Kingdom. Shut up. In a Pamla Kebe. It's okay. Ajie Okadu. Me and my noble. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ah. <laughs> hey, that's what it lines. It's okay. It's okay. Hey! Hey! Why did you leave Ali? Hey! 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 Hey!
face. That face looks strange. I've always known there is something evil about this woman. Look. She's handing a briefcase to him. That briefcase. That is exactly the, the same briefcase she came to the palace with. Really? Yes. Could that be a coincidence? I knew it. Her husband was not interested in becoming do you know who till she came back. The similar briefcases. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes. A third party is involved. You're right, my brother. You are. We need to go back to the palace and inform Fadi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You mean this is war gold? Pure. Unadulterated. Unrefined. Raw! This is money. See, when I was telling you that we will be the latest billionaires, in fact, the only billionaires across the eastern region, you thought I was lying. Uh, this is pure money. Iha bego. I'm good man. I'm welcome. Ibo bafuna ni welcome. Hey. Ije lewa. Ije lewa ni butege ego. Ike ike. Ije le butege ego. This is it. We are made for life. Our children's 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 children. Gano uh, nego. Yeah. How are we going to sell them? <laughs> That's some of your business. My dealers, they're the ones with the marketing links. I want just to relax and be taken care of. This is ours. <laughs> <laughs> this is money. Relax! Relax! We see, we are made. <laughs> She's a business woman. Each other one you more. With the plenty so I give up. Maybe this whole thing is not working out because you're trying to go against the tradition of Umo the Kingdom. What? then it is your fault. You have not worked hard to convince Princess Olana. If that is what you think, I think at this point it might interest you to know that I and Princess Olana, we have broken up. that we followed her closely, we saw her giving a briefcase to a stranger. You know why it's different this time around? It's the same briefcase she gave me. But Dad, we need to stop that woman from coming to this palace. We believe she's evil and she's up to something very bad. All right, son, don't worry about her. Hmm? We are protected by the gods. And we also believe in Jesus. No one can harm us. Hmm? The princess is my ploy to get very close to Igwe Zako. In my ambition of becoming the next Onogu. So, you must get Olana back. You must. Trouble everywhere. 
Okay. So, where's the person that wants to see me? He's outside. Outside? Yeah. Who is that person? Um, Chief Zumba. Are you not pressing so long now? Of course I am. Yeah, let's just go. Go see him. You see Chief Zumba? Yeah. Prince Lutanna, who do you suspect for your sister's disappearance? I don't have any suspects. I mean, um, nobody, but from, from recent events, I think Ijele Wan is responsible. Ijele Wan? Hmm. Who is Ijele Wan? Um, she's a, a very wealthy and powerful lady. You know, she wants to control the affairs of this community. And I heard she, she has a very powerful contact in Abuja. Oh. Yes. When was the last time you saw your sister? And where did she tell you she went to before her disappearance? <laughs> she didn't tell me anything. I didn't hear anything from her. Were you called or... Was any ransom demanded from you? Yes, I was called. But there was no ransom yet. They didn't talk about ransom. All right, let's see the number. Yes. Thank you. Let's go inside. After you. Go with him and get him. What is this money for? It's just a little token of my appreciation for all the work elders like you have been doing in our community. Ugoma, I don't need the appreciation. Eh? I don't need the appreciation. Take your money. Please, take your money and don't come to this house again. Please, take your money. If you take a closer look, you will see that there is 500,000 Naira on that table. Mm -hmm. So, it is 100,000 Naira for each of you. Ijele why? That's it. <laughs> so, when Azuhu becomes the owner, there will be more. You, you won't know what to do with money. You will... Ike ga woke. We will all look sharp that Azuku will be appointed the next Unobu of Unobu Kingdom. Bam. Because he is a man of vision and great wisdom. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Omo ago ti kutere. Why is one? Please now, you don't have to go like this, huh? My woman is missing and you won't get it. Just, just find something, do something, Kaimalu. Let us. The gods are watching over your family. Their ways are not like ours. It is well defined. Uh, 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 you need to help us, man. You know, I, I can't tell my dad what happened. It, it's against the tradition. You just need to help us. Find something, I beg, eh? Biko, please. Eh? Biko. When the gods speak, I will speak. Uh, hey, white man. Hey, 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 if you see my movie, you see my movie because I watch it. Can't you put it now? See, no one will figure. No one can. They cannot use more of this. Only some woman. What is it? That be the word. No woman. What do you want, Lutena? <laughs> Chief Priest, I need to go and find my sister. And please, you have to go with me. Please. No, I cannot go with you. Oh, come on, man. Is there nothing else you can do? You need to help me out, eh? You need to help me out. Until the God speaks, nothing. What is it? Huh? What did he say? What did he say? Where is she? Where is Mr. Tolan? Can it be that my sister is asking you? Why are you shouting? I have nothing to do with your sister. You lie. You are a liar! Jelly wine tells no lies. But I saw you at the borders of the kingdom exchanging. Briefcase with, with, with a strange person. I am nothing but a businesswoman. You come, ma. Now listen to me and listen carefully. I give you just 24 hours to produce my sister. Otherwise, you will regret why you ever step foot in this kingdom. Lotanna, it is your father I respect. More so, the throne of Umobi Kingdom. If you ever, ever address me by my name again, you will know why I am called Ijelewai. Ijelewai, my foot. But if you need them, JJ, if you need them, how to? Why would you do it? 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 Did you bring me back from South Africa to disgrace me? Huh? Did you give me swear? That would mean no. But then you know, like I'm in the rain. Huh? I do not care of how you feel or what you think at this point. You are the one responsible for the kidnapping of Princess Olana. Olisa, stop that. 
Stop this madness. I will not morning. stop. I will not. I say stop If you that. tell me why you are hiding Princess Olana, you know I love this girl so much. You know it. You know it. You know I love this girl so much. Huh? You know it. How dare you? How dare you? That's wake the sleeping lion. <coughs> Father, this is a perfect scenario of the witch crying in the night and the baby found dead in the morning. This woman is evil. Ufungure is no at all. She should be held responsible for all another's disappearance. Lotana, Lotana. I don't want us to start pointing fingers. You have no right to accuse her without proof. All right? Besides, what you saw might, might have been just a business partner. Father, I don't think so. No legitimate business will be transacted in the manner I saw yesterday. It was clear. <sighs> Father, you should hold that woman responsible for Anna's disappearance. I'm very sure of what I'm saying. Yes. Igwe. What are you doing here? Lotanna. Father, should you... Should... Shh! Quiet. Lotanna. Enough. Igwe. <sighs> Ijele, why? The worst has happened. Abducting royal blood is a crime that should not go unpunished. I have asked the gods to forgive me for the things I'm going to do when I unmask those who are behind this. I carried out a secret investigation. Guess who is responsible for this? Ijele Wine. She is the one responsible for this. I know. Why would you want me to believe you that? She's the one responsible for this. You know she wants her husband to become the next to know. She's so desperate that she can do anything to achieve her aim. Ah, Wait for me. Holy sir! Holy sir! Holy sir, don't do that! Holy sir! Holy sir! Ajay, you have been summoned at the palace. She said Ilozumba is responsible. I have sent for him already. Uh, I know I, I see a very dangerous game. Son, this is not a game, all right? She has requested to travel to the capital, the state capital tomorrow, in order to see the police commissioner on my behalf. Travel? Yes. What? What, son? That Akunike that you call your mother. Where is she? Can I know? Huh? Put her down. Where is that Akunagogola that you call your wife? Can I know? Huh? I don't know. 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 I don't where did you keep Princess Olana? Where is she? You come to my house. 
and pull a gun in my face. Me, Ijele Wan. I have not come here to bother watch with you. I give you only but two minutes right now to provide Princess Olana, or else. Imali Veja Omo Bello will find Kitabue. That's out. Where is she? Let's see. I am going to give you all giveables. New Year, New Year Festival, New Moon, everything. Christmas. Just out of the magnanimity of my heart. Listen, you have only but one hour to provide Princess Olana or else. Waki being a south is only in Mili. Hey! You tell him why? Me! I'm not 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 I'm ugly. I have no hand in the disappearance of the princess, Olana. And I am ready to swear to the oracle. I have asked the gods to forgive me for what I'm going to do. We should be careful, careful in whatever we say. We should be careful, careful in whatever we do. We should be careful, careful whoever we meet in life. In life. Stop the car. Stop the car. What happened? My God. The laptop is dead. Oh. 
Is there no other way? Mm -hmm. Is there no other way we can do something? Huh? Huh? I was able to get our driver's number. We were supposed to track the number, but I couldn't. The tracking software is in the laptop, and the laptop is not even on. Hush. Just do something now. Hi. Achebe. You are my most trusted cabinet member. That's why I called you here. I'm going to see Ezidi at Umu Bindida. Who was that drama? There's danger everywhere. I got my cricket. Please, I'm sure. I'm very sure that the princess will be found. Very sure, that. So please, dear. It's imperative that I go. Yes. Let the gods do their job. It's on. It's on. How is that possible? <laughs> How is it possible? How? He's How do you do? He's the one. Who? Techno native power. Techno native power. <laughs> I told you. I told you. I told you. Maybe you are right. <laughs> Techno-native power could be the future of new Africa. Okay, can, you, can, you, can you just get that location? Yes. They headed south. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you, Iche. Iche, we understand that you are a close friend to the Igbo. All the Red Cap chiefs are close friends to me, except that I'm his confidant. Hmm. Confessing me. Iche, yes? what did he tell you before his disappearance? Um, he told me that he's going to visit one native doctor. I don't remember the name. <laughs> Ichi, do you know the purpose of his visit to the native doctor? Yes. His visit was in connection with the missing doctor. Mm -hmm. Ichi, how did you know that your Igwe was kidnapped? Well, well, uh, after it, I will start receiving strange calls, telephone calls demanding for ransom. <laughs> Big sum of money. <sighs> Thank you very much, Ichie. We shall visit again if need be. No problem. But don't hesitate to help us whenever you are needed. It's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. It's Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank you very much. You are my blood. I will not hurt you. 
I only desire one thing. <laughs> well done, Ijele one. You are indeed a dangerous woman. Dangerous. It is time for us to take over the kingdom. Yes, it is Let time. Let the exportation of gold begin. Yes. Exactly. Now is the time. <laughs> Azubo. Correct. <laughs> this is impossible. You were banished from the kingdom. <laughs> well, I am back. I am the new king. I am so sorry, Your Highness. Just like the money meant a lot to you, the gold means a lot more to me. I apologize. Gold indeed. <laughs> what are these? No, they, these are stones. They're stones, right? Ijele wine, open your eyes. Gold, pure gold. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, they, these are stones. It can't be gold. They... You are mad. You are mad. You tricked me. You are mad. What are you doing? 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 What are you What are you doing? 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 you refuse to listen to you What you you your own blood. This is yeah. Yaku. Please. Please. I am your younger brother. Do not banish me. Protect me with your royal powers. Please. Azubog Igwe. I took a sacred oath to protect and uphold the laws and traditions of Mubi Kingdom, regardless of personal interest. The crime of sleeping with your own blood relation is punishable by banishment. Azubogu, the decision I took was dictated by the tradition of our land. Even though I had to live with the pain for the rest of my life, I had no choice. My king, this is the end of the world. <laughs> Please, uh, I crave your indulgence. Allow us to exercise Ijele wine the way we do it according to our custom and tradition. Ichie, but well, she is a suspect. Two men were shot dead, Ichie. Two men. I mean, this is a murder case. Murphy and Azubog were shot dead. As it is now, I'm afraid um, it's only the commissioner of police 
that can be able to release her to you people? Uh, I'm only pleading because what we normally do is the elders will go to her house with a lagama spray and escort her out of the house. Then thereafter, we can get the girl over to you. I would advise you to tell your Igwe to call the Commissioner of Police on this matter. She will be released to you. Okay. But yes. at the end of the day, we will take her back uh -huh. to our custody. See? All right. It's fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. It's okay. Thank you very much once again, Ichi. Thank you. We had you and the prince were the people who killed the two men. Is that true? Yes, we are. But our rifles are licensed. Oh, licensed. <laughs> the woman in question, the jelly wild, attacked my father. As if that wasn't enough, she attacked me and the prince in my own father's house. As if she wasn't okay, she went on to denounce the princess, which is my wife to be, and the father, which is the king. Mr. Man, with due respect, sir. Did you call to inform the police before you embark on this deadly journey? Yes, we did. But before they could come to the scene, the deed has already been done. Though our mission is not to kill, but this mafia of a guy tried to shoot at us, so we had no option that was Oh, self-defense. <laughs> we understand you better, though the kingdom supports you and the prince. But for record purpose, uh, we needed to see you. Thank you very much once again. Thank you, officers. Um, we will get back to you if need be. Nichie Kenemunu. It is indeed refreshing and a thing of joy that we are experiencing a period of peace and freedom from harassment, intimidation, and threats by that evil woman called Ijelenwai. As the king that rules across the rivers and the two clans of our kingdom, I had already pronounced a judgment of banishment upon her. And to mark the beginning of the Ofala celebration week, there will be a symposium tomorrow at the community square where my son and Ezemmo will be demonstrating and teaching what might become the new innovation in Africa called techno-native power. <laughs> Techno native power. Yes. And now, to occupy the seat of the traditional Prime Minister of our land, I hereby appoint as the new Onowu of Umobi Kingdom, Chief Achebe. Please congratulate him. Thank you very much. Oh no. I think this called for some sort of celebration. Don't you all agree?